I don't wanna be loved by you, be loved by you. I don't need to be hurt or rescued, not by you. Okay then, what I'm about to say is completely true. Team Filmora, please take this as a feedback and not a complaint from my side. Being a user of Filmora since 2015, it is my go-to software every single time. I love Filmora because it is different, because it is unique, or maybe because it is fun to edit on Filmora. I recently just downloaded Filmora 9, the latest version, and I noticed one thing at first. Why do I have two Filmoras on my PC? I thought this is an upgrade, but it turned out to be a completely new software. Now right after I opened the Filmora 9, the first thing that struck me instantly is that Filmora 9 does not have a project aspect ratio selection on the welcome tab, but the old version do. We can't directly choose the aspect ratio like the way we used to do in previous version, which is not a good sign. To be honest, it is really handy to directly choose the aspect ratio right from the welcome tab instead of making one in the software. The second thing I noticed is that the interface while having the color aspect feels of the predecessor version, it quite doesn't feel like Filmora at all. Well, it is hard to explain but to me, I instantly felt like this new version is more of an Adobe Premiere Pro and a HitFilm Pro mixture rather than a Filmora update, which makes it a little alien to some degree for an old user like me. The third thing that I noticed which is quite different and which I liked very much is the separate approach to the timeline, which I really appreciate. So kudos to that team Filmora. I instantly fell in love with this new timeline. I mean, it is really handy having multiple approach to the timeline instead of being stuck with a two overlay tab and five text and five music tabs like the old version. It's quite good having multiple timeline this time. The fourth thing that I really, really appreciate. We are so used to double click or right click advanced separate tab opening all the time while editing in Filmora that the inbuilt advanced feature just surprised me. And I really like that. No need to always open a new tab all the time which is a time saver and is something that I really appreciate. And the fifth thing that I notice is that there is no render button. Why, Team Filmora, it is not there. I mean, after seeing no render button or tab, I thought that projects get auto-rendered just like Final Cut Pro, but that is not the case. After importing some clips and creating a video, the usual lag and auto-sync of audio and video occurred and there is no way to correct it. So Team Filmora, please include the render button because it is the dark horse of Filmora. And now the sixth thing that I noticed is the completely new look of Filmora 9, which in my point is actually not as good as the old Filmora. For some reason, I felt like that the previous versions of Filmora has that amazing feels to it. I mean, after opening the old Filmora, it asks you to come and use it. It mesmerizes you to fall in love with it. And I'm not saying this because I've been using Filmora for the past 3 years. When I first downloaded Filmora back in 2015, having no idea of what this software is gonna look like. And right after opening it, I just suddenly got this tingling feeling inside of me to use it right away. But in Filmora 9, I don't feel that charisma. I felt like that I just opened a blank dull screen and don't know what to do now. Should I use it or not? I can close it without using because Filmora 9 is just not inviting. I don't feel like editing in Filmora 9 at all. And when I started editing in Filmora 9, I was getting bored. And to be honest, I've used various types of video editing softwares in my life but I never get bored while editing. And for me, editing is fun, it is my way to have fun. But Filmora 9 does not give me that fun. Sorry team Filmora, but it is true. Or maybe I am too addicted to the previous version that it is becoming hard for me to like this new version, I don't know. 
Apart from the superior interface and capabilities of it, I still don't like Filmora 9. Still, Team Filmora, if you guys wanted, then you could have implemented the features of Filmora 9 into the previous version and keeping the Filmora's vibe to it. I know for an old user, it is hard to adjust, but still, I love my old Filmora way better than this Filmora. Now what I felt after using Filmora 9 is that this new version is more inclined towards a new user base. Which is good, I mean for a new user this is not going to be a big problem for adjusting. But for an old one, it is going to be a pain in the bottom. I have an advice for you guys at Team Filmora. Now since Filmora 9 is launched, I am sure that any further update will be now for Filmora 9. Which literally means that either this way or that way. We have to use Filmora 9 apparently. Which in my opinion is not a very good business move. A lot of people who will not want to upgrade will eventually going to stay with the old version or I believe that they will going to use some other software then. Because since Filmora 9 is here, it is clarified that the old Filmora does not going to receive any new feature and all the new features are just gonna be for Filmora 9. So team Filmora, what you guys can do to keep your old user base as well as the new user base is to change the interface to a more like the old Filmora. Because Filmora 9 is not Filmora, it is something else. And like I said before, it is not inviting at all, like the old Filmora is. So please take a look in this matter. While Filmora 9 is superior and more faster, it is not something that I will choose over old Filmora. So Team Filmora, please take this video as a constructive criticism and please make the Filmora great again. Hope you will look into this matter. I'm Himanshu Mehra, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.